It's an endless sea of humanity. Big twin, big time. Hey guys, DC, Iron Horse TV, we're back. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever the channel may be finding you. Today's quick review is going to be why I still believe this is the coolest, most badass get around town cruiser ever made. I'm also going to share with you some rider testimony to that fact as well. Of course, we're talking about the very cool Triumph Bobber. And as always, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel, knock that notification bell, leave me a comment or two, and without any further ado, let's get right into it. Triumph's design team definitely hit it out of the park when they had this minimalist mindset. And after all, that's what a bobber is supposed to be. Amazing lines. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, but you have to admit it's a functional work of art. Definitely a bobber gas tank, 2.4 gallons. Suspension, mono shock underneath the seat. Powering this bad boy is a liquid cooled 1200 cc with a single overhead cam, eight valve parallel twin. Pushes out about 77 horsepower and it is matted up to a six speed transmission. What I also like here is they went beefy with the tires. Up front, 130 by 90, in the rear, 150 by 80. The Bobber's drivetrain is chain driven. It uses a cable clutch. For stopping power, ABS is standard and up front they use Brimbro brakes. Here's a fun fact for you, you might not be aware of, that this chopping of parts off bikes for this minimalist bobber type look actually started right after World War II. Returning GIs came back to America to find America was flooded with a surplus of these used military bikes and they could pick them up for pennies on the dollar. And I digress, so back to my last point of this video. It's not a tall man's motorcycle. I'm six foot two and the position of the peg, no way. And I test rode this over and over again back in, I think it came out in 2017. I was like a monkey effing a football. I really wanted one for bopping around town. I thought it was badass. I was just like a monkey effing a football and it was not fun. So let's fast forward a few years and lo and behold, forward controls are now available. I don't know if it's direct Triumph accessory or it's a third party vendor. Can you let me know in the comments down below? I understand there's also floorboards now available for Harley Davidson slim type of look. Again, I do not know if that is a Triumph direct accessory or a third party vendor, but again, let me know down below. All right, let's get into some rider testimonials here. These guys were out in the cold, and on that note, Triumph does have heated grips as an option. This is, this is dope. This is a world-class motorcycle, man. So, is it sad that, uh, Triumph are making a better looking motorcycle, a better looking cruiser than Harley these days because I like this. This is a it's a good feeling bike. Uh, -hoo -hoo. Good sounding bike. And holy moly, dude. This thing has got power. That's dead stock. Dead stock exhaust. It sounds great. Absolutely amazing. What a gem of an engine. It's great for the city. It's awesome on the highway. Even expert riders would have fun jumping on this bike because of how cool it is. This road is totally badass. Come ride with us. Iron Horse Television.